Look, I'm getting blogged about a lot this week. Again, what's new, right? This time it's uh, because of a comment that I made earlier. Um, a comment I made earlier this week about what my real name would be if I hadn't changed it to be successful in the United States, in America, on television. My real name is something like Ricardo Leon Sanchez de Reinaldo. Beautiful name, right? Rolls beautifully in Spanish. But in the United States, we tend to speak English. The letters under my name, go ahead, Roger. See those right, right, right there? See where my hand is? There it is. It says Rick Sanchez, right? You want to say that I anglicized my name? I did. And it was my decision to make myself better understood and make it easier for non-Spanish speaking people in this country to deal with me. Uh, and I bring this up for a reason, obviously. Look at these people. Some of these people are really angry. They're upset. They're upset with a guy in New Mexico, a hotel owner who urged his Latino employees to change their names to something more American. He says it makes good business sense. And he says he knows about this because he's done this a lot of times in running different hotels. He says he is not a racist. In fact, listen to how hard he had to try and defend himself while getting grilled right here on CNN. Did you or did you not tell somebody whose name was Martin to say that his name was Martin? Or similar changes? Uh, yes, ma'am, I was answering your question of why well, just, I changed. Yeah, just answer that question, though. Did you ask him to change his name and anglicize his name? Did you ask anyone to anglicize their name? Yes, I asked Martin to change it to Martin. Why? To better understand it over the telephone. You can't understand Martin? Do you know that the vast majority of people who live in this community where you have your hotel are Latino? So uh, your customers are going to be, to a large extent, Latino. Now, how do you treat the customers when they come in? Do you ask them also to change their names? Like if mm -hmm. I came in with Jane Velez Mitchell so that you could better understand my name, would you ask me to change it? No, ma'am. It's ludicrous, sir. <laughs> She's tough on him, no doubt. Um, we watched that, we talked about it, and many of us here have had discussions about it, and many of you are obviously involved in discussions. Last night before I went to bed, I was sitting there reading all the blogs and all the responses that are coming in after the comments that I had made on this. I want to introduce you to somebody now. This is Rafael Romo. He is our brand new senior editor for Latin Affairs, and I'm so proud to welcome him aboard and welcome him here to The Sanchez Show. Great to be here. Good to see you. I think it's a matter of common sense. I, I remember when I crossed over from Spanish TV into English TV, I would say my name as Rafael Romo, rolling all, all the R's. Of course. But, but guess what happened next? Just like when I talked to my brothers and my mom, I'm Pocholo. But nobody could, <laughs> uh, nobody knew what my name was because nobody could pronounce it. And so it became a practical matter to just say Rafael Romo, and then it's easier to understand, it's easier to remember, it's like does I it, say. Does it bother you as much as it does me? I mean, here we're talking two Hispanic reporters <laughs> who don't, never get a chance to do this. When I hear non-Hispanic reporters reporting a story and saying, and today, here was the situation in Nicaragua. Why are they trying to over-pronounce Spanish words? When I speak Spanish fluently, I don't say Nicaragua. I don't say my name is Ricardo Leon Sanchez. I'm Rick Sanchez. My rule of thumb is... Or Ricardo is, Sanchez. My rule of thumb is we're in the business of communication. What is the audience going to understand better? Um, I remember when I when I started to try to make this decision for myself, mm -hmm. I was afraid that my family was going to say, "Oh, you're changing your name. <laughs> uh, what's 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 going to happen with this? What's what's with your family, your origin, your background?" Your abuela is going to get mad. Oh, well, well, my grandma. dad said, "You know what? You're there now. You're in the business of communication. It's Do fine yeah. as long as people understand you. Um, it's been difficult, but uh, what I always tell people is." Just like the Ninja Turtles, my, my name is Raphael. 